feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hey, and welcome back to the Shrimp Tank here in the Shrimp Tank Studios in Woodstock, Georgia. Normally, we're shooting out of our out of our Alpharetta studios, but we're here in Woodstock today. My name is Lee Heisman. I'm here with my co-host and our guest co-host, Clint Crow. Hey, How hey. you doing, Clint? Well, thank you. And we have our guest today, guys, Derek Griffin. Good afternoon. Derek is the CEO of Spear Tech, and it was a wonderful show today. Listen, don't forget... If you like what you see here in the post-show video wrap-up, you're going to listen to the show in its entirety. You can download us on iTunes, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Stitcher, everywhere across the platform. We are obviously in 11 cities. We're in Boca Raton. We're in Orange County. We're in Little Rock. We're in Boston, Charleston, and we're going to be launching Canada very, very soon. But today's show was amazing because I got to learn a lot more about Derek's business. I've known him for a long time, but I learned how he's grown this business. So Derek, if you could just take a moment and share, what does Spear Tech do and, and who are you as an entrepreneur? So Spear Tech is a technology company. Uh, we focus on building B2B e-commerce websites. B2B stands for business to business. And we work with product companies that are selling wholesale to retailers or through a distribution channel. And as far as remote work is concerned, this is a buzzword and a hot topic uh, among our generation these days. How do you offer remote work? I know you've got an international branch, and how does that play into the way you do things here in the States? So it really kind of depends on the type of work that's being done. So we have an office in Atlanta near Georgia Tech, and most of the client-facing front-end work is done there. We do have a uh, sort of a application development hardcore programming office that's in Argentina. So those three guys do work for me uh, full time. They're uh, connected to to our systems. So you know, as an entrepreneur and a business owner, and and anybody out there listening who wants to be an entrepreneur or is currently one. It's pretty easy to do things in a short amount of time. Anybody can go run a mile. It's really hard to run 26 miles. Anybody can go try to open up a business. It's really hard to make it last for three years, five years, let alone 20 years. So one of your claims to fame, if I'm incorrect, is you've had this business for two decades now. That's correct. How the heck have you done that? Um, a real big key is enjoying what you do. The best advice I ever got from my dad, I was 15 years old, I was in my grandmother's kitchen, and he said, son, it's not as important how much money you make as it is that you enjoy what you what you do. So I have really took, I took that advice and I've sort of lived that, and I love what I do. I love the clients I work for and the staff that works for me. So e-commerce is a hot topic now in today's entrepreneurial community. How has your product and services evolved over the last 20 years as the landscape of the internet has changed? So I would say probably three key things. One is um, a focus on B2B e-commerce or wholesale. There are a lot of other e-commerce platforms that deal with the consumer side, and we have evolved our platform to meet those business-to-business -business needs. That's probably number one. Number two is integrating to other systems. Taking the order online is only half the battle. Feeding it to an accounting or an ERP system so that nobody's manually keying that order in helps you automate the sales channel, and the return on investment from those uh, payroll savings is will pay for the project. And the third thing, and this is more recent, is mobile is hugely important. You cannot build a website that isn't also mobile friendly. Hmm. You know, a lot of people, I, I do see that. I see very nice websites, and then I try to pull up on my phone, and I realize they don't have a good company like yours to actually make it mobile friendly on all right. the platforms because there's so many platforms out there now. And you have to, it's not just platforms or, or building mobile versus desktop, but you have to be cross-browser compatible because what happens in Chrome may be different than Safari. So if your business needs these services because you go take a look at Safari, go look at your website in Safari and Chrome, go look at your website on a Samsung or on an iPhone, and it's not really working out the way you want it to, how do people get in touch with you? SpearTech. Our website is shown on the video here, but SpearTech.com. And there's a get started button in the top right, or even before that, just look at our work, see the types of um, projects that we do and the quality of the end result, and also look at our feature list. So guys, I, I have the fortune of not only co-hosting with Clint today, but having Derek here. I haven't seen Derek for years, but I remember when we were hanging out, just a quality individual. And there's no question for you entrepreneurs out there, his words of wisdom are very valuable. Go back and listen to the show in its entirety, and you want to hear a story where if you have some attrition of your employees, but when an employee leaves you and they send you a letter of resignation saying you are the best boss that I've ever had, there's something to be said for that. 
And also when you have a guy that says, look, enjoy what you do because money's going to come. I think these are tremendous words of wisdom that you should be listening to. And that is our post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank.